then Iron Man? Yeah, Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Today, I'm going to be showing you gameplay of the deck that got me to rank 125, 9 out of 10 cubes. That's insane. Uh, I showed a Zabu deck a couple days ago, and it was fine. But we got a huge upgrade to the card in pool two, and it really has changed the deck up uh, in a very significant amount. So this is the current Zabu list I'm running. Uh, made a couple swaps. Notably, Shang Chi was a huge addition to this deck, and I'm going to go over why. Um, but the biggest thing is, so this kind of became like a Zabu uh, toolbox deck almost, where all of your four drops offer a lot of utility or a lot of power, where uh, Zabu kind of enables you to have these really strong cards that are answers to your opponent's cards. So you'll see in some of the games, I go Enchantress to answer their really crazy threats, Shang-Chi to answer their really crazy threats. Um, and then on top of that, the reason why we play Sunspot and Angela is they just kind of go well together. Uh, I don't know if Angela is the perfect two drop, but I do think she did really well in the games we're going to showcase today. Sunspot is the perfect one drop though. Sunspot's insane. The fact that it's synergized with Infinite, it's synergized with so much of your deck where there's just turns where you have awkward mana. Um, like you have Sunspot turn one, you only have one two drop in the deck, so there's a lot of turns where you don't do anything. Uh, you, there's just a lot of like it, turns where you play for tempo, we'll say, where you don't like really use mana efficiently. And the fact that Sunspot has so many synergizes, uh, like synergies with soaking mana is very useful. Um, so Sunspot's great. I really like Angela so far because you can kind of go two on Angela, Zabu in the Angela space, and then take over other spots with your powerful four when you've accelerated your mana. And then your last couple turns of the game, you can play another four in the Angela square. And Angela, you know, is just like two mana, six power. Um, I thought about also playing, um, what was the card? I thought about playing Lizard in these spots also, but I, I just am a little bit more biased towards Angela. I have more experience with the card. Um, and also I think a lot of games, your opponent will fill up spaces against Zabu decks. So it's hard to say. But so similar like payoff fours that we had before. Jubilee is insane. The fact that you can Jubilee out Infinite, American Chavez, and also like just a lot of your fours are high impact fours to steal out with Jubilee. Like if you, barring Shang-Chi and Enchantress, who obviously have really strong into the battlefield effects, uh, Jessica Jones is eight power. Uh, Moon Girl doubles your hand, very useful. Warpath is five power by itself, and then Warpath can also end up being nine power with his ongoing effect, really good. White Queen, same thing. Overstatted card that has a really good effect of stealing your opponent's highest cost card. And then if you get one of your six drops, obviously that's amazing. Um, Shang-Chi and Enchantress are like your two toolbox cards that answer threats really well. Uh, Enchantress is so good against the Dino deck. Shang-Chi is so good against the Dino deck as well as other decks that play high cost cards. Enchantress is really good against the Dino deck also. You know, these are both two good tech cards for the Dino deck. But uh, Enchantress also just wins some games in other weird ways. Like the Zoo decks play Kazar, they play Blue Marvel, they play Ant-Man. Um, armor, stuff like that, you know, and, and Enchantress shuts that all off, and it's very good. Captain America, that's another one. Um, and you'll see that in some of the games. She really steals the games. And then these are kind of just like your power four drops. Moon Girl is like not inherently powerful, but we went over last video how playing a four cost card uh, that costs two mana that doubles your other cards that are reduced is very good. Jessica Jones has eight power for four mana. Insane. Warpath. 9 power for 4 mana, a little bit more conditional than Jessica Jones, but all of these cards being half the price is very good. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys, uh, you know, give the deck a try if you have it. This deck is also really budget friendly. I mean, like, so, pull one card, pull one card, pull one card, pull one card, pull one card. So half of these are pull one cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the other half are pull 2. So, I, I mean, well, five of them are pull two and one of them is Zabu, which is the season pass card, so a lot of people have it. It's uh, it's super budget-friendly and, and so powerful. I really hope you guys give it a shot. It's a rank 125 with this deck, which is insane. Um, but, yeah, that's the video. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy. I feel like we just have to snap on this hand. Maybe it's crazy, but I don't... I mean, you see Sunspot, Angela, Zabu in your opening hand, I feel like you have to snap, right? I guess we don't have a 4 yet, which is pretty awkward, but... We'll see.
I wonder if Zabu will come back to my hand as costing four, and then it will cost two, and I can play another Zabu. Be interesting, right? Okay, this is a great Enchantress spot, which we love. They can't move the card this turn. It does come back as costing four, which then costs two. Can I play it? Oh, it doesn't actually get reduced. Okay, so it's garbage. So the issue is, is that if I play the Enchantress, my Zabu gets shut off, but I think that's totally worth it. Last turn of the game, I'm going to draw Chavez anyways. Well, get another Enchantress back, so maybe I don't even have to. That's a good hit. That's a really good hit. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be the 124 game. This is this is gonna be the 124 game. Okay. So now it's a question of how do we win these squares? We can win Zabu middle just so they have to play something there. I think Shang-Chi is fine to put there, and then we can play Chavez here. And then, so I'm gonna have 15 left, five middle, and I'm gonna win right. Chavez and Angela almost just win it by itself, but they could always play another card there. So I think we are snapping on this. I think this is how we're playing it. I mean, now they like have to play for every lane because we're winning them all. <sighs> I think this is the 124 game. I think this is the 124. That's crazy. Sunspot's so good on this deck. Sunspot's gonna get so much power this game, just for free. I guess I can play Angela here, and then if I get Zabu, I can keep playing cards there, but that's pretty rough for me. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Zabu? No, Zabu is sad, but that's fine. I think my current sequencing, I want to go Jubilee into Jessica Jones left, and then I can play like Chavez right or something. Do I go for the high roll? I do draw Zabu. So I can give up left and then play to middle. And they're gonna go. They're gonna go right. I mean they're gonna they're gonna go left. I have a good chance of winning. I think this is fine to snap on. So I'm I'm gonna win right probably. They're probably gonna commit to left. And playing Zabu middle means I can play. Well, first of all, Angela's gonna grow. I can play that card there, and then I can play cards of the future. And that's tile. Yeah, they get an impact. Yeah, see, there was no way I was winning there. So then it becomes a matter of what cards do I want to play middle this turn? Um, looks like the most power I can put into play is White Queen Jessica Jones. I already snapped it, yeah. So they're committed to that space too. We we get a hole. Oh, good thing. That's 
that's not scary. Armor isn't scary. So remember, this is going to be at 22. So if they move this over here, it goes to 7. 7 and 12 is not. Let's so the Hulk doesn't win middle anymore. Now, is it more power for me to just play the Hulk right? Or is it more power to do other stuff? So I can go 2, 2. So what do I still have in my deck? I still have... Warpath, I still have Shang-Chi, which would be good, and I still have Infinite. And then I'm also getting two, so I'm going to eight. One is nine, plus four is Enchanter. So if they just play Hulk right, I also win. So I think this is correct. You know, in further reflection, I probably just should play Hulk myself actually because then I'm like literally never gonna lose this yeah it would have just been better to play Hulk but now we have a flasher win Do we snap on that? Yeah, why not? So Zabu makes the the fours cost one, which is very good. Now we're getting a cube out of them. So they're probably the Dino deck. Seeing that. I'm maybe not even supposed to play for the Warpath this game, but it is worth considering. If any of your locations are empty, plus four power. So this is 913. So Warpath is, is pretty large. Angela and Nightcrawler, sure. Infinite. So infinite means I beat a dino, right? Because I can go Warpath, Jessica Jones, and then Moon Girl, Sunspot, or Jubilee. What's more likely to do more? I can hit Angela and stuff, which would be pretty bad, so I think it's just best to do this. Next turn I pass, and then I play infinite. That sounds really good. Especially with Sunspot, I mean, with Sunspot, my cards are gonna get, like, ridiculously huge. So they steal my Angela, which we would have actually liked to know. But now, so we pass this turn. That's interesting. We pass this turn. Uh, our Sunspots gain 5, so that's 15 here. And then we get to play our Infinite in the middle. Yes, that's fine. And they haven't copied anything, so there's no way they're gonna win this. Even if they play Iron Man, we win? Right? Well, no, I guess if Iron Man doubles. So, you know, with Iron Man in mind, maybe it's actually better to do this. Jubilee, Jubilee, and then I hit Chavez is guaranteed, and then nothing else. Just because my, my thought process is, so Warpath is going to be nulled either way, but if they're going to play Iron Man here, I can't win. Yeah, I feel like we kind of, I feel like this might be like the gotcha moment here. I guess then it's just hoping Jubilee is enough. But I think it is. I think, I think we win middle 
is the biggest thing. Odin, interesting. And then Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man. Like a book! Like a book! Uh, it feels so good. And we win all three. And we win all three. What a game! What a game! Victory. 125! 125! Oh my god, that's ridiculous. So I'm just thinking about you play Sunspot this turn. I think so the only punish for not playing Sunspot this turn is drawing exactly Zabu. But barring drawing barring drawing exactly Zabu, it's actually better to play Sunspot on the second turn cuz we get Angela grows uh and Sunspot grows and Sunspot doesn't lose any power because we go I guess Sunspot loses 1, so this is a plus 2 play or a plus 1 play cuz so, oh man, now we gotta think about math. So, we play Sunspot turn one, turn two we play Angela, then we have one, zero, uh, then turn three we pass, and Sunspot becomes four. This way, Angela becomes two, Sunspot becomes two, so it's four, so it's equal, but now we can scale better, because we can play Angela, and Angela have additional cards going there. The lizard A. I think we wanna. I think we wanna get their highest cost card here. Okay. What do they got in there? Hobgoblin. So what happens if we both Hobgoblin left? I guess I can. I could just pass and then play to Jotunheim. I think that's better because I, I can't think of a good line that... So they can't play Hobgoblin middle because it doesn't work for them. But we can play just Infinite left tile and then we probably win that. That's fine. But now even with this I think we're winning this. I guess we could play Infinite far right. And then they need... A lot of power to win there. We're at 26. They're at 13. They snap. I think it's pretty hard they're able to beat this tile with this much power. I mean, they need like more than a hole. That's good. The Killmonger kills that, which is sad. And we cinch it out with the with the infinite. Zabu. 
Ooh, 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 Zabu wanted to play. Zabu wanted to play this game. So they're just gonna keep doing that. I'm kind of inclined to Jessica Jones here, get another one next turn, and then even White Queen, so now I have six here, that's gonna turn into eight. I'm gonna do the other order, but. This way, um, if they just play Scorpion again here, I'm gonna win the tile eventually. Cause then they only have six power there, and I'm gonna have six with just Jessica Jones, and then another four from the uh, other card, from the White Queen. Also, you know, drawing another copy of their high school scars is very good. Spider Woman. That's a good card to know about. Very good card to know about. So their own Jessica Jones. So. We can. Jubilee. Jones, and then I think we're Spider Womaning the left currently. And it's all it's all subject to change, obviously. Chavez is a good hit. Change the thing. So they play Spider Woman there, which is fine. So Spider Woman left is a huge swing, and then we can Sunspot right. And they need a lot currently to win. Snap. I mean, they need to play to middle, they need to play to left, and they need to play to right. Where I feel like this is safe to keep playing on. I'm not going to snap, but I, I feel like this is safe. That's a win for us. Victory. Hi, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Uh, currently, I'm making a Marvel Snap video every day. So if you enjoy Marvel Snap videos, if you enjoy my content, you know, consider dropping a like and uh, maybe subscribing. It uh, helps me and help support our cat Gunther. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.